All right, you are welcome again. Today, I want to talk about trigonometric ratios of some special angles. And then we can say that a special angle is any angle multiple of 15 degrees, including zero degrees. Including zero degree. Okay? So, any angle multiple of 15 degrees, including zero degree, is called a special angle we have zero degree 15 degrees 30 degrees 45 degrees 60 degrees 75 degrees 90 degrees 8 ec but we want to find the actual value for some of this special angle and then in this video we are going to find the actual value of the true value for sine 30 degrees 45 degrees and 60 degrees already we have we have a lesson where we treat specifically angle zero degree and 90 degrees please try and watch that video also but in this lesson we are going to find a true value for angle 30 degrees 45 degrees and 60 degrees you know when you pick your calculator a scientific calculator and um, point sign 30 degrees is going to give you 1 all over 2. But the question is, how? How is it 1 all over 2? And then if you say sine uh, 45 degrees, it's going to give you 1 all over root 2. So the question is, how? Why is it 1 all over root 2? Then when you say sine 60 degrees, it's going to give you root 3 all over 2. How is it like that? And then some other ones. So that is exactly what we want to solve for today. We want to show you how to get the true values without using calculator. How to get the true values for some of the special angles without using calculator or table. All right. Now let's go. Please, let's draw a shape that looks like a square. You get it? Now, in the square, let's divide it into two. Okay? Now, you can see that one portion of it looks like or exactly like a right angle triangle. And then you see that in one of the angles, we have 90 degrees. And then the other angle just cut 90 degrees into two. So we're going to have half of it is going to be 45 degrees you get it and then we have each of the side to have the value one okay so we have uh the opposite side that is the side that is opposite to our angle 45 degrees we have it to be one and then we have the base side to be one also and then remaining the other side of it so how can we find this side so when you use Pythagoras theorem, we're going to see that hypotenuse squared is equal to opposite squared plus adjacent squared. And then in this case now, we have our opposite to be what? 1. Then our adjacent to be also 1. So 1 squared is equal to what? 1. And then 1 squared for the adjacent squared is equal to 1. So 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So you discover that we are looking for hypotenuse, not hypotenuse squared. Then you take the square of both sides. So that means we're going to have our hypotenuse to be root 2. Our hypotenuse to be what? Root 2. That is why we have this side to be root 2. Okay? Now also, pay attention. Let's also have another shape which is equilateral triangle then you know that equilateral triangle has all the sides and all the angles equal that means all the angles are going to give us 60 degrees so if the three angles are equal it's going to give us 60 degrees times 3 which is equal to 180 degree a sum of interior angle okay now let's go we have the side of this equilateral triangle to be 2. You get it? And now, in this case, in this triangle, let's divide it into 2 like this, okay? Now, as it divides this into 2, you discover that the base side is now divided into 2. So, we have each of them to be what? 1, 1. 
and then one of the angles to be what 30 degrees so you can see it clearly right so please and please for us to get this root 3 inside this equilateral triangle you may use your pythagoras theorem as we just did so we're going to get root 3 okay now please and please i want you to get it how to draw this shape on a rough book it's very simple okay and i want you to remember it very well it's very simple and it's very useful okay now let's go we want to find the true value for sine 30 degrees okay now how are we going to do it now let's use so katoa when you say so katoa that is sine theta sine theta is going to give us opposite all over hypotenuse and then we want to solve for sine 30 degrees now we'll be looking at sine 30 degrees now we'll be looking at one portion of this equilateral triangle okay now the sine 30 the angle 30 degree what side is the opposite in it we have one and then our hypotenuse is going to give us what two so therefore we're going to say that sine 30 degrees is equal to one all over two all right yes now let's go again what of when you say it cos 30 degrees so when we say cos 30 degrees you know cos is going to give us adjacent all over hypotenuse and then our adjacent here is root 3 and then our hypotenuse is 2 so therefore cos 30 degrees is going to give us root 3 all over 2 okay good now when you say tan 30 degrees tan 30 degrees what is it going to give us so you know tan is going to give us opposite all over adjacent so what is our opposite our opposite here is 1 and then our adjacent is root 3 okay so that means we're going to say that 10 30 degrees is equal to 1 all over root 3 okay 1 all over root 3 okay yes now let's go what can we say about sine 45 degrees how can we find a true value now let's make use of this shape right angle triangle okay and then we have our angle 45 degrees now we have our side one one and then root through then when we say sine 45 degrees it's going to give us opposite all over hypotenuse and then our opposite here is one then our hypotenuse is root three so therefore sine 45 degrees is equal to one all over root two okay good now when you say cos 45 degrees so cos 45 degrees is going to give us adjacent all over hypotenuse so our adjacent is here is what one and then our hypotenuse is root two so cos 45 degrees is equal to one all over root two okay good now when we say tan 45 degrees tan 45 degrees is going to give us opposite all over adjacent our opposite our opposite is one and then our adjacent is also one so one divided by one is equal to one so therefore tan 45 degrees is equal to one hello tan 45 degrees is equal to one now let's go when you say sine 60 degrees let's make use of this shape okay let's make use of this shape now when you say sine 60 degrees you're going to have opposite all over hypotenuse right and then in this shape our opposite is root 3 and then our hypotenuse is 2 so therefore sine 60 degrees is equal to root 3 all over 2 and then when you say cos 60 degrees cos 60 degrees is going to give us adjacent all over hypotenuse then adjacent is 1 then our hypotenuse is 2 so therefore cos 60 degrees is equal to 1 all over 2 and then when you say tan 60 degrees so tan 60 degrees is going to give us opposite all over adjacent so our opposite in this uh, triangle is root 3 and then our adjacent is 1 so 
Rho 3 divided by 1 is root 3. So therefore, tan 60 degrees is equal to root 3. Okay? Tan 60 degrees is equal to root 3. Now, I want to show you some important tips. For instance, whenever you hear anything about tan theta, you get it? Tan theta. So tan theta is the same as saying sine theta all over cos theta. Hello? Tan theta is equal to what? Sine theta all over cos theta. So in this place we just solved, pick any of them, something like tan 30 degrees. So when you say tan 30 degrees, what tan 30 degrees is going to give you is 1 all over root 3. So I want you to check it. I want you to pick sine 30 degrees all over cos 30 degrees and solve for it. It's going to give you 1 all over root 3. So check it in every other places. So you discover that tan theta is equal to sine theta all over cos theta. And then you are also to note that sine 30 degrees is equal to cos 60 degrees. Hello. You can see it clearly from this table that sine 30 degrees is equal to cos 60 degrees. That means anytime you have just solved for sine 30 degrees, the same value is for cos 60 degrees. And then at the same time, sine 60 degrees is equal to cos 30 degrees. Hello? Sine 60 degrees is equal to cos 30 degrees. Now let's go. We also say that sine 45 degrees is equal to cos 45 degrees. Hello? Yep. Sine 45 degrees is equal to cos 45 degrees. Now, let me show you one more thing again. When you talk about inverse of trigonometry, for instance, inverse of sine theta, you know, when you say inverse of sine theta, it's going to give you 1 all over sine theta. Okay? So, when you say inverse, that is 1 all over that, or that same thing raised to power minus 1. Okay? So, inverse of sine theta is going to give you 1 all over sine theta. And then, this 1 all over sine theta can be called cosec theta. It can be called what? Cosec theta. Now, we use CSC to denote cosec theta. And then, when you say inverse of cos theta, it's going to give you 1 all over cos theta. That is inverse of cos theta. And then, we use the name sec theta. To denote the inverse of cos theta. 1 all over cos theta is the same as what sec theta. Okay? Good. Now, when you say inverse of tan theta, so inverse of tan theta is going to give you 1 all over tan theta, which is the same as saying cot theta. Which is the same as saying cot theta. Alright? Yes. Thank you very much for watching. Please, let's take more examples. For instance, how to solve trigonometric ratios without using calculator or table. Okay, now let's take more examples.